Hello, friends. I tried to go live earlier and it would not work. So apparently whatever I was going to talk about earlier is not the thing that I needed to say today. But I did start a series over on TikTok like a month ago um, about things that I learned from my therapist today. <laughs> And then I didn't have her for like two weeks. And so I haven't made another one, but I will later on today. But anyways, I just got the phone with her and I had some things to share. Y'all, so huge realizations lately, like the biggest. And I just wanted to share something with you because I thought her and I were talking about this. And I thought, you guys might not know. Hey, Dan, what's up, buddy? You guys might not know. Um... You know, when I first started my business, it was all get shit done, rah, rah, let's do things. And I haven't been like that in a really long time. Like, I can help other people be like that if they need to be because I think there's a time and a place um, for that in your world. But I had this really interesting moment that I wrote down and I'd like to read it to you. Um, it's not chaos here anymore, y'all. Like, and it hasn't been in a really long time. But what I think happens and I notice happens, hi, Jesse, I love you. What I noticed happens is I will still sometimes play down how simple or how my life is these days, like, and how it's been for a while. Like I play it down because to make other people feel more comfortable, I don't know. I love you too, Jess. I do so much. Um, so I realized like I'm not, chaos anymore like we don't live in chaos here you know and I think part of my disconnect with some of my brand and and that sort of deal is the fact that like I don't do that and I wonder like there's this place of when somebody says oh my show must be so nice like you know last week I had a lot of um days where I didn't really do a whole lot of work I did a lot of work, but I didn't do a lot of work. I don't know. Who cares? I don't. Why do I have to keep track of this? I don't. So, but I would realize when I would tell someone, oh, I took the afternoon off to go deal with this or, you know, to go have fun or do whatever. People are very judgmental of that. Um, oh, that must be nice. Like, this is a horribly rude thing to say to someone. Um, and what I would say when I would tell people about the ease and flow that I do have in a lot of my days the, now in the world I live in um, I would always say, but I worked so hard to get here. I worked so hard for this. And I would say that as a way to like justify the place that I'm sitting now. And here's the deal. Did I work very hard to get to this spot? Absolutely. Have I been in this same place for a couple of years? Yeah. In a big way. Um, I worked very hard to get there, but do I think that that's absolutely necessary? No. Do I think I would have had to work so hard to create this version of myself and this life that I live if I had known then what I know now? No, I don't. So I find this to be interesting conversation that you hear um, in certain layers of the personal development world where people are like, I don't believe that you have to go through hell and go through trials and tribulations to get to where you want to be. And I've never really been able to articulate my um, my thought process around that. Come on, you. My thought process around that. And the truth is, is that the reason <laughs> to articulate that is, is, do I think you have to go through hard shit to get to the other side of life and, and all those things? No. Do I think most of us do? Yes. And do I think that the most of us who got to the other side and that are willing to help guide others there could help bridge the gap and like slow down or close up the amount of crap you have to deal with to get to a place that you're desiring? Yeah. But do I think a lot of people like my myself at the beginning was not able to find the right, I didn't find the right people to help me get to where I am now until many years into my entrepreneur journey. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. Do I think there's anything wrong with going through shit? Absolutely not. We, most of us do, right? But that's not, like, 
I don't reside there. Do I work hard? Yeah. Do I have stuff that are days or weeks where it's like overwhelming and I feel like I'm working way too much? Absolutely. But is that the general norm in my world? No. It's, it's just, it's not. I have a lot of other things that I'm taking care of and doing all of the time that take up time. Absolutely. But I feel like I don't talk to you about the fact that last week on Tuesday, I got done working at one o'clock and then I went ring shopping. The next day I, well, no, that was Wednesday. Thursday, I had an appointment in the very middle of the day. So I did housework before and cooked after. And then on Friday, I worked until one o'clock and then went and watched The Little Mermaid with my cousins. Like, do I need to explain that to people? No, but do I need to feel like I can't tell you because I don't want to hear the reaction of people who are like, must be fucking nice. I don't want to be in that place anymore. Meaning I don't want to hold back how beautiful this existence is that I've created because it's been by design. You know, like I chose this. I chose to do the scary thing. Do I think that's for everyone? No, but I did choose to do the scary thing and had no idea how I was going to pay my bills but I, was, I knew that I couldn't go back to that job because it wasn't the right place anymore, right? Ten, or it wasn't 10 years ago, but like seven or eight years ago. And I made a different choice than a lot of people are willing to make. And that's okay too. There's nothing wrong with where anyone is. I just wish more people would be less judgmental. Um, but also what I hope and what I've always hoped with what I've done here publicly with you guys is to show you what is possible if you want it, you know? And the world that I live in, it's not chaotic. I've designed it this way. It has chaotic moments, 100%. It has chaotic weeks, but they don't last anymore because I choose not to live that way. Could I easily continue down that path of, of hustling from the moment my eyes open to the moment they close? Absolutely, I could. And sometimes I do choose that. And sometimes I have to catch myself. But I just, I don't want to justify that. Can I help you figure out how to do that for yourself? Absolutely. Can I guide you along the path? 100%. 100%. Because what it comes down to is it's not about a measuring stick. It's not about a badge of honor. It's not about any of that shit. It's about what works for you. So for example, my boyfriend, Tony, he does work from the moment his eyes open to the moment his eyes close. He loves it that way, though. And he also plays in the middle of what he's doing all day long. Sometimes he stops and he goes and makes a piece of art or whatever, because that truly is the, the place that I find a lot of people when you, when you include some flexibility, but also can take some response. When you take responsibility for the shit that's your responsibility to take care of and you're on top of it no matter what, and then you allow flexibility to exist for you to, and you give yourself a permission slip to enjoy your life along with it. Like a lot of that s seriousness of like, my life must be chaos. I must be crazy and doing things all the time. And gosh, I'm so busy and blah, blah, blah. Don't you feel better about your life because I'm so busy too? Like all of that goes away when you, d when you just take self-responsibility and like interject a bunch of flexibility and just trust and know that you do you you do what you need to do, right? Like, I don't stress about the way last week went as far as me taking a lot of time to go do other things. I don't stress about that because I know I'm on top of my shit. So what can I help people with? How to create a place, a foundation where you're on top of your shit. You can go then do whatever you need to do because you know, you know what you need to do. It's not sneaking up on you. You know it and you can handle it. And then you can go, you know, leave your house at one o'clock to meet your cousins at the movie theater to watch The Little Mermaid. You can do that too. So any questions about this, let me know. Any comments or thoughts, please ask them. Um, this is something that I guess I need to find the right people to listen to it because I, you know, I know not everyone is open to that. Um, and that's fine. Again, each person's situation is, is their own unique choices and I'm good with that. But I do need to find a place where I'm not talking to people who say, must be nice when I tell them that 
about the things that I've created into my world. Like one of them that everybody likes to, uh, <laughs> must be nice, and that I used to justify was the fact that I get a massage every two weeks. I used to be like, oh, but I have to have, it's neuromuscular, it's this and that. Sure, it is those things to help my body problems, my pain problems, but it's also something that I choose to do for myself every two weeks and I don't need to justify that to you. If you wanted to, you could figure out a way to do it too. It was hard for me at first to find the time and the money to do that, but I knew I needed to do it for my body. And guess what? Now it's just second nature. I always make the time and I, the money is there as well because I know that I have to pay for it. We all have our priorities, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I have a doctor's appointment. I have to go get some PT and get my back cracked. But I love you guys. Thank you for being here. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share if you think that this message could be beneficial to anyone else. Thank you guys. Bye.